All right, hello everyone. It's Victoria from Trade Pro Academy again with another video for you guys. In relation to the release of our new Forex course, we are coming out with some videos on MetaTrader, actually MT4, MT5 platforms, how to use them and whatnot. In our Forex course, we actually dived into trading Forex on TradingView, which we do like. Actually, we went through a lot of examples and how to connect it to brokers, but here we're going to do something similar for you guys today. We're going to go through MetaTrader 5 on my screen right here. The general uses of it, what it encompasses, how to use it, and I hope everyone enjoys. So let's just dive into this. So right here in front of my screen, we have first the market watch symbols. You can click here to add any symbol you want. So a symbol that might not appear on this chart would be Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar. So we just add that, click enter once it's been added, and so on. So you can develop a nice little market watch list here. It gives you the bid and the ask. On the screen here, you can see we have three different charts. This one right here happens to be the USD CAD, British pound USD, USD Japanese yen. So right here you can see we have the bid and the ask so by 1.3062 it gives you the last two digits right here the pit values right here you can easily deduct the spread between the two right here at the top you can see again usd japanese yen it gives you the bid and the ask sell buy right here is the volume so 1.0 would represent a standard lot a hundred thousand units so you can increase it decrease it however you like so for example, 0 0.5 would represent 50,000 units of a currency, so half a standard lot and so on. So guys, down here we have tabs. You can see by clicking it, it'll highlight each of the charts that we want to look at. We can add further tabs down here by laying out a new chart. Let's say we'll go Australian dollar USD right here. It appears as a bottom tab. We can minimize it and then bring it back once we click that tab yet again so let's go over the top here what you can find and then we'll dive into some charting and then finally we'll go into logging in or setting up a terminal with metatrader so right here if we start with file you can see new chart as i previously displayed it does open it up down into this tab area it just opens a new chart for you open deleted so again same thing remove a chart if you want down here you can customize your profiles close save save as open data folder from your other files maybe and down here open account log into trade account so if we open account right here you look for your broker type something in find your broker and then you continue like that this is a demo account so i can't really show you how it's done but log into our trading account here this is the demo only log in we'll jump into that so you can do some trading on the demo and back test your strategies or just practice guys practice is very important when it comes to trading so next on we have view again change the languages depth of market let's just open up the dom for the euro usd you'll see this on my screen Right here, you can see some volume trade. This is just by the brokers that offers it. Remember, guys, vol you can't really see volume in Forex, so this kind of the volume on this side is kind of useless. It is an interesting tip to see the DOM on Forex. Next, we have toolbars here. You can just change things around, time frames, select, unselect it. You see, it just gives you the time frames down at the bottom here, and then all this other stuff down here. Market Watch. Remember, we talked about that navigator. If we click on Navigator, it'll open up this toolbar to the side here, which does have accounts indicators, expert advisors, etc. Scripts. Diving into scripts, actually on MetaTrader, this is a highly customizable platform where you can code your own indicators and even algorithms or bots, if you would want to call it, into the program. So right here, if I open meta editor you can see a lot of indicators here a lot of code written these are just examples of the indicators that are provided for you can write your own indicator code if you are familiar with languages coding languages so that's another little added bonus if we go into insert we can insert indicators here whatever indicator you might desire custom indicators as well these are just a lot of examples they'll show up under the chart so let's say we select this usd cad we'll insert an indicator right here 
So let's look at an oscillator. So let's just throw in the MACD. Everything looks okay, blah, blah, blah. So it does show up down here under the chart. So that's what the MACD looks like. This is a one hour time frame. We'll dive into time frames and chart settings a little later on. We can just leave that down there and then let's continue. Objects, again, this is good for charting your own horizontal lines, whatever it may be, fibs, some channels, maybe some trends. Honestly, anything you guys can think of here. And then we move on to charts here. This is a lot of information right down here. You can customize a chart as you wish. So we do like the candlesticks. You can turn into a line graph or a bar chart. Time frames, again, you have an array of time frames. So right here, it'll be the same if you right click the chart. You can customize it pretty much the same way as that chart tab. If you want to do your multi time frame analysis, let's say we open another USD CAD right here. Go to new chart, another USD CAD. This was a one hour, so this new one we can change into to let's say a daily and then we'll change the candlesticks perfect and then you can just put that up here instead of pound usd and then again we can just throw in another chart usd cad and then maybe this one is the weekly and then change this into candlesticks so down here we've got weekly charts so this is how we do the multi-time frame analysis down here so again we'll start weekly daily and then we'll go into hourly, maybe place our trades. Furthermore, you can customize a chart however you wish, grid or no grid. As you can see on that weekly that was selected, we just got rid of the grid that was in the background. Right here, these top two shift end of the chart from the right border. This is what we like to see. This is, if we select this, this is what we like to see. We just unselected it. So you can see there is some room right here between the chart. And then the opposite end here, scroll the chart to the end on tick incoming. So again, select that as well. Down here we have much more options, zoom in, zoom out properties step by step. Once we get into tools, new orders, stuff like that, we're gonna dive into that in our next video. It's gonna be a little mini series here. I just wanted to show you guys the charting, how to do basic charting on MetaTrader some of the tabs you can see how to open some tabs close them if you want you can save the layout guys here save it as a different document then you can open that data later you can have a plethora down here of different tabs open and it's a fairly easy platform to use right here guys scrolling just with the mouse just holding the mouse Right here, if you scroll like this down to the side, you can see the chart gets squished a little. Very similar to TradingView, guys. You can customize it as you will. You can throw your code in like you can in TradingView, throw trades in, connect it with different brokers. But in our next video, we're going to talk about how to go through a broker to get the MetaTrader and how to set up trades. And I hope you guys enjoy this short little video. It was Victor from TradePro Academy. Stay tuned for our next MetaTrader video.